Hi friends, so I continue in this short tutorial series dedicated to using the characters imported from the Dust 3D in Unreal Engine projects. In the previous lesson we have imported a Genesis 9 figure into a third-person game. Today we will apply a metahuman hair to it. In the next lesson we will briefly go through some nuances of importing Dust 3D figures and poses into a cinematic project created with Unreal Engine. After all of that, we will focus on morph targets imported from the DAS altogether with a DAS 3D figure. And I am also planning a separate video which will be covering some aspects of using DAS 3D figures with my project listed on Epic Store. Uh, you may possibly know it is the true fighting game engine for Unreal Engine 5. And now let's begin with the today's tutorial. Let's really quickly add to our character a metahuman hair asset. To do so, let's open up Edit Plugins and enable the Quixel Bridge. Let's type Quixel Bridge. All right, in my case, it is already enabled. Let's open up our content drawer, right click Empty Space and select the option named Add Quixel Content. And I already have my local folder MetaHumans, my MetaHumans, I already have a MetaHuman. I have prepared it before this lesson, to be honest, and I would like to use its uh, groom asset from the, my Lexi1 character. So I just select this MetaHuman in my Quixel bridge and I press the Add button. And I believe it has already been imported to my Unreal project. Oh yeah, here it is, the BP Lexi. The editor prompts us to enable missing plugins and we do so. We just enable all of them. All right, and let's take a look on Lexi. And the editor also prompts us to restart. Okay, let's wait while shaders are being prepared. Oh, and it seems it's almost ready. Of course, after we apply the groom to our uh, character imported from the DAS, we can delete the Lexi itself from the project and leave just the groom asset. But I will not bother you with this for now. And now let's open our content drawer. Now we get to content, third person blueprints, and open up our BP third person blueprint once again. And in the components tab, let's select our dust character and click this add button. And we should add a groom asset. So let's type groom and we select groom. And it has been added as a child component to our dust character. Now we select the groom and at the right, next to groom asset, select the hair as abdu. All right, great. And as the parent socket, let's select the head one. And for now, let's select our mesh component and temporarily disable the animation. So in the animation mode, we select use custom mode and we compile. This is just because we want to align to set the position for the groom. All right, and we select the groom. Let's rotate it. I think it should be minus 90 degrees around the Y around the, with the Z axis. Let's now select translate and move it some, somewhere here. And for precise positioning, let's click this little grid and, and set the snap sizes to one and the rotation angle to the minimum minimal amount. All right, let's try 
remove it here. All right, let's lock this scale to scale it proportionally. Let's scale it up a little. And you see this strange Banks behavior. This is because of the physics asset of the dust character that we have imported. So let's go to the dust to Unreal Victoria 9 and open up the Victoria 9 physics asset. And you see what's up with her higher physics asset capsule. Let's adjust it a little bit so it doesn't collide with our hair asset. So let's select the scale, the scale tool, right? No, this one. We scale it down, and here. And we scale it all the way down. Let's go back to the third person blueprints. BP third person. Let's select the dust character. By the way, we didn't set a physics asset for it yet. So in the details, let's type physics asset override. And we override it with Gene Victoria 9 physics asset. Because I believe by default it of course is using the queen physics asset was using all right and you see it now looks much better let's let's select the groom once again all right and let's compile ah and it still has troubles with the head uh -huh, you see Let's edit the physics asset one more time. Victoria 9 physics asset. Ah, uh -huh, you see this. Let's make it much more, much smaller because it interacts with our hair. Let's check it out now. All right, you know what? I think it is just an artifact of the editor because this physics asset seems to be all right and we have adjusted everything. So let's select the mesh once again. Ah, by the way, Let's clear up the physics asset for the mesh as well. Let's set up the does the Victoria 9 physics asset for the mesh as well. And also let's type Vizim. You see? The, our parent mesh is much larger than the Victoria 9. So let's disable collisions for the Queen. Disable this and we disable this and this. All right. And let's make it invisible again. Let's compile and save. And let's now run the game. Huh. 
Great. All right, and now let's select the mesh and enable the animation back. So animation mode, use animation blueprint, and as the anim class ABP Queen C. All right. All right, and now, and also, you know what? Let's select the groom. And in the details, start typing cards. And we select the use card option. Compile and we save. All right, and it looks not bad. We can adjust it more, but for the sake of this tutorial, I think it looks, looks all right. So that's it for today. In the next video, we are going to import the same dust character to a cinematic scene and render a cinematic footage. But please do not relax. It has a very important nuance when you import a dust a character from DAS for a cinematic. We are going to import a pose from the DAS 3D as well for this Victoria 9 character. And this will require a slightly different approach with importing our character. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.